up, weirdos? I'm Chris Weir, and this is the Chris Weir Experience. And today we're on episode number 15 of The Daily Weirdo. Today I want to talk to you about a phrase that I heard this past week that really spoke to me. And the phrase went, die on your own sword. And I really liked this phrase. It spoke to me on a lot of different levels. It it made me think back at my first agency and some of the mistakes that I made um, that I can now identify and correct moving forward. Hopefully, sharing with you, you won't make the same mistakes that I did. Um, Dying on your own sword. The concept is, is pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Is be willing to accept the responsibility for your decisions. Don't try to offset or or place responsibility of your decisions on someone else. I'll give you an example from my own experience. Again, my last agency, one of the mistakes that I made, I had a great group of employees that worked for me. Very, very talented designers, videographers. We had a, a couple of great copywriters and account executive. Um, And they were really, really great employees. They were very talented at their jobs. They did a really, really great job. All my clients loved them. And what I did was we we kind of started transitioning. This is when Employment 2.0 started coming in where the concept of employee empowerment and, and really allowing employees to shape the direction that the company is going Um, I was getting very surface level readings about that. I never did any really in-depth training or never really did any in-depth study, um, which is a shame. I should have because it it led me down this path that I'm going to describe. But um, basically what ended up happening was I started allowing the employees to start sharing where they wanted the company to go. And I started changing fundamental directions of the company based on some of their feedback. And what would end up happening was we would start going down one of these roads and it would not work. Now, that's not to say that it could not work. It was just not going to work in my agency. It didn't fit with my vision. It didn't fit with my... um, uh, how I wanted my company moving forward. It just didn't fit. And I made the uh, terrible mistake of allowing um, those, those employees to dictate in a lot of different ways the direction um, that, that we were taking, um, taking the business. Now I'm not saying big fund I'm, I'm not saying like massive, um, you know, big differences in directions to the company, like changing um, entire comps. I'm just small things here or there, fundamental, little fundamental things here and there about how we would approach social media advertising or how we would approach a presentation to clients or um, how we would do this or how we would do the little itty bitty things like that. And what, what I was basically doing was by allowing them to make, uh, I guess in essence, make these decisions and I was allowing them to do that when they did not work, I was the first one to say, See, I knew it wouldn't work. That wasn't my idea. I shouldn't have listened to my employees. But it wasn't their fault. (laughs) It wasn't anything that they did wrong. I wasn't willing to die on my own sword. If, If you are running your own business, you have a concept for how you want your business to go. You have a direction that you want your business to go. You need to stick to that. Don't let someone else sway you on those things. Now, that's not to say you can't take advice. Now, I'm not arrogant enough to think that I have all the answers. But when someone gives you a suggestion on something, you know whether or not that fits within your uh, vision for the company. You know. You, you, You know. Okay? So if it doesn't feel like it fits or you kind of got a question mark around it, Don't move in that direction. You have to make the decisions for your business, and then you have to be okay with the decisions that you make. 
again, I've said this before. Um, I think we even talked about it this week is everything that happens in your business is your fault. The successes and the failures, it's all your fault. You're the last line of defense. You're the last line. Nothing gets by you whatsoever, right? So, so what you, you, you have to, you have to be willing to first and foremost, um, be willing to make the final decision. Don't always allow the decision. That's not to say that employees won't have good ideas and certainly take them up on some of their ideas. That's, that's a good thing. Empowering employees. That's, that's not a bad thing. I'm, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about, uh, the, the fundamental things of the business, right? Those things that you know, do not match your vision because then that's, that's on you. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, you're going to be the last line of defense, right? If you're going to take on that role, you got to have the guts to stand up and die on your sword. Quit trying to die on other people's swords. Quit trying to place blame on outside circumstances, right? We see this all the time. Oh, it was the bad economy. Oh, it was that client who didn't pay the invoices. Oh, these employees who didn't do that. Oh, it was that, it was this, it was that, it was the, the post office. It was UPS who screwed up the delivery. It was, we are so quick to place blame out there everywhere. When you're an entrepreneur, when you're the last line of defense, there is nowhere to place blame. It has got to be you and you've got to be okay with that. You've got to be excited about that. You have to love that about being an entrepreneur. You have to love the fact that everything's going to land at your feet. Everything is your responsibility. Everything is your fault. Good and bad. Everything is your fault. You've got to be okay with that. So I thought that was a great thing that I wanted to share, a, a nice phrase that really summed up a whole big thought and a whole big conversation about taking responsibility and not um, not relying on other people's uh, advice or other people's, um, uh, not necessarily not leaning on, that's not the right word. I don't want to say it like that. It's not that you don't want to take other people's advice because you can take good advice. There's a lot of people that have great advice. I take advice today. But be willing that regardless of whether you take someone else's advice or it's your own decision, it's always your sword. You're always that last line. It's always your fault. Don't place the blame somewhere else because that's going to cause a lot of problems for you. If you start trying to escape blame, that's what your job is. That's your responsibility. I hope this helps somebody. I really do. I think it's a big thought. I think it's a big conversation. I sure would love to hear your thoughts about it. Tell me what you think uh, about dying on your own sword. Tell me in the comments, leave a comment, and, and maybe even tell me about a time that you've had to die on your own sword and how that helped you or how you think it hurts you or or whatever the case is. I'd love to hear from you, please. Also, like and subscribe to all my channels. And more importantly than anything, if you get any kind of value from this, please share it. Please send it to someone that you might know. It's as easy as hitting share and send that out. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that very much as I'm trying to grow the audience. I'm trying to grow the reach of the Chris Weir experience. I really would appreciate your help with that. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening and, and consuming all my content. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks guys.